Hi guys, today we're going to learn the bouncing text animation in 3 minutes. Let's do it. First, create a text. I hit Ctrl Home to set the text layer in the center of the comp. Then add a position animator to the text. And here add an expression selector. And delete the range selector because we don't need it. In expression selector, in amount, paste the bounce expression here. Set the Y position on minus 150. If you do it opposite, the text goes up. And also you can use this expression for any property you want. Well, if you want to personalize the animation, you can go to the expression and change these values. Frequency determines the speed of the bounce. For example, if I set it on 20, you can see the speed increases. Amplitude or overshoot determines the power of the bounce. For example, the letter A moves down up to here. But if I set it on 600, you'll see it goes further down. Decay defines the amount of energy loss. The more you increase the decay, the sooner the animation stops. And the less you decrease, the later it stops. If I set this to 10, it will stop sooner. Delay determines the delay of the letter's animation. For example, I set it on 5. To make the animation looks better, I want to add a rotation to it. So I duplicate the animator, delete the position, and add a rotation. And also enable the pre-character 3D to be able to rotate the letters separately. Set it on minus 90. Go to the expression, decrease the decay a little so that the rotation bounce stops later. After that, mask the text layer and set its mode on subtract. Well, if you want to use this animation you've created as a preset in another project, select the animators and in animation menu click on save animation preset and save it as a preset. And then if you want to create the same animation for your text in another project, select the text layer and in animation menu, select the apply animation preset and open your preset. And finally, you just have to mask your layer. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and if you want to learn more about After Effects and motion graphic techniques, don't miss my courses. The link is in the description.